To protect your Hyper-V virtual machines with PHD Virtual Backup version 7, you'll create backup jobs to select your VMs and define your backup schedule. One major change from previous versions, though, is the introduction of VM level settings, both globally and within each job. VM settings can be used to configure where individual VM backups are stored and to define retention policies. Global VM settings can be configured using the Protect page of the web based user interface. By default, retention is set to typical, which will keep some recent backups and also a single backup from each of the last few weeks, 12 months, and 5 years. The backup data store is not set by default. When the backup job runs, the most appropriate data store will be selected automatically. If you'd like to define a specific data store before the job runs, or if you'd like to change the data store a VM's backups are stored on later, you can simply edit this setting. Creating a backup job can be done from either the jobs page, or the backup dialog can be launched from the protect page. If on the protect page, any VMs you select will be pre-selected in the dialog when it's opened. The first step of the backup dialog lets you name the job and select the VMs to be backed up. Cycling through the checkboxes in the tree on the left lets you include or exclude VMs from the job. The inventory table displays the VMs or containers selected for backup and the individual settings to use for each. Note that in version 7 only verify is supported. Other options will be available in upcoming releases. To change the settings for a VM, Click the Edit icon to the left of the VM name. To change settings for all selected VMs, click the Edit icon in the title bar. The second and final step of the dialog lets you set some job level options and the schedule. Backup modes, virtual full or full incremental, are still available, with the option to force a full backup if this is a single run job. You have the option to pin backups created in this job to prevent them from being deleted when the retention process runs and you can even add individual email addresses to receive a report when this job runs. Emails can be sent every time the job runs or only when there's an error or warning. Finally, the job schedule options let you create a job that runs every day or only on the days you require and as frequently as every 15 minutes. For full incremental jobs, you'll also set the schedule for when the full backup runs. Running a full backup at least once per week is recommended. I'm going to create a daily scheduled job that runs at 8 p.m. every night. If I wanted to create a job that ran multiple times per day, I could use the Recurs option here. After I submit the job, I'll head to the Job Manager tab on the Jobs page to view my new job. Here I can see all of the job information, and if I click View Details, I can see all of the VMs currently included in the job, along with the backup data store currently assigned to each. I'll click Run to kick off the job now. In the Active Jobs tab, I can see the job in progress, and if I click View Details here, I'll see the individual progress for the VMs and their disks. If I click View Log, I can see the current log associated with this job. When complete, the job is moved to the Recent Jobs tab. From here, I can view the details once again and view the final log for the completed job. All of my available backups are displayed in the Recover Pages Backups tab. For more information about PHD Virtual Backup version 7 for Hyper-V, visit the PHD Virtual Backup website at www.phdvirtual.com.